I, uh, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Oh, Lil, a uh, friend of mine, Joe Patrick, Bill Durier. Glad to meet you, Mr. Durier. If Ed says your friends are all right with me, just let me know if they don't treat you right, Mr. Patrick. Pardon me, there are some people over there I'd like to shake hands with if I can borrow my hand for a while. Certainly, if I can have it back as soon as they're through with it. I'll remember that. Look at it, Mac. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> don't don't squint your eyes. Open them. Ain't that cute? <laughs> I don't see nothing. You don't know? You're crazy. Now you see something. <laughs> no, I still don't see nothing. <laughs> Patrick, I'd like you to meet Jock Ramsey. Mr. Patrick is a friend of mine from Des Moines. How are you? I ain't complaining. Well, what do you say we shoot the works, huh? Hey, I want to talk to you. Yes, uh, excuse us, please. Sure, I'll wait right here. Be careful, son. It looks like rain. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. He's big for his age, isn't he? I'll bet it's a tough job keeping him in tin soldiers and blocks. Come on. <laughs> something nice. For the self-supporting girl, a material for a frock of this design would be a useful gift. Ooh, pretty steep, though. Fifteen dollars. Can I see you tonight? No. Tomorrow night? No. Had a good show in town. Joe Jefferson and Rip Van Winkle. No. Well, how about a vaudeville show? Funny jokes and snappy songs. Eddie Foy, another one of those songbirds in the South. No. Now, here's just the thing. A waist easily clasped with two hands. Now, uh, I'd hate to start a rough house over at the Capitol, but if you don't meet me somewhere else, I'm afraid I'll have to do it. Don't be a fool. All right, then. Will you meet me, or shall I bear Jock in his own den? Live and let live, that's their motto. As long as you mind your own business. I almost wish they were staying in Omaha forever. Came right over. The boys must be out of town again. They are for two whole days. <laughs> Say, someplace you got here. Where'd they go this time? Oh, I don't know. Someplace or other. I forget where. I thought maybe if you were free, we might spend the day together. Right. What do you say we run over to Minneapolis and see the sights? Mm -mm. Too many people we know there. Fort Snelling? No. I don't like a man in uniform. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could always pop in on Hilda. That's what I wanted you to say. <laughs> I'll never get ready if you don't stop forcing your attention on me. <laughs> How long will it take you? Oh, about two shakes of a lamb's tail. Just give me time to run out of the room and wash. No, you can wash here at the same soap and water. It's a good idea. You'll find comb and brush and anything else you need in my brother's room. It's the other side of the bathroom. Thanks.
happened? An accident. Get some hot water and a couple of towels. Quick. Get me a drink. That's all I want. I'll be all right. I hope... All right, Patrick, get going. If you ask me now, I I'm... didn't ask you. I'm sorry, Joe. That's all right. You ready? Uh, she ain't going no place with you. Some other time. Oh, I see. Well, you should have told me. Yeah, and if you're smart, you'll go back to Des Moines. I'm doing all right here. Yeah, but you'll be a lot healthier in Des Moines. You don't look so healthy just now. What's the matter? Have a little accident? Anybody home? Oh, hello, Ernie. Come on in. All right, Patrick, beat it. Well, thanks, folks, for a very pleasant time. I still think your boyfriend here ought to be in rompers. Hello, Lil. Pat. Uh, sit down, Mr. Patrick. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Lillian Russell? Sure, with pleasure. Try one of mine. A fellow in Havana makes much special for me. Oh, thanks. How about a little drink? Anything you say. <clears throat> this ought to fix you up, all right? What's it all about? Now, don't get nervous. Take it easy. We're all friends around here. Did you get rid of those Cheyenne bills yet? Not yet. Know anybody who'll handle them for me? I might. You're kind of hard up, aren't you? No, I'll get along. Not sticking up jewelry stores in this town, you won't. Sit down, will you? Ah, oh, don't waste any more time. Let me give it a... Jesus! Jesus! All right, Patrick, fork him over. Don't you know this sort of stuff won't bring ten cents on the dollar? I noticed you grabbed it quick enough when you found out where it was. Shut your trap. We don't want any of that trash around here. This stuff goes back where it came from. All right. What happens now? Patrick, suppose we were to forget all about this little trick and let you in on some easy money. What do you mean, easy money? Oh, helping me with a few little odd jobs around here while Jock is thinking up some new jokes. Hey, you ain't figuring using him around here, are you? We can use somebody around here with a little brains that can keep their mouths shut and stay out of arguments. You ain't bringing him in. Well, I have something to say about it. I'd sooner see him run the gun up there. Shut up. All right, Patrick. What do you say? Nah, I don't know. I've always worked alone. A lot of dough in it. Not so many chances. Yeah, it smells fishy to me. First this guy here socks me in the chin, then you frisk me, and now you want me to join up. No, no, thanks. If I don't want it company, I'd have joined the Elks. I don't go off half-cocked, Patrick. Here's a little dough. Put it in your pocket. Go outside and buy yourself a drink. Take a look around. Take a squint at that new act I brought in from Chicago. Think it over. I'll see you later. Sure. I'll take it over. I'll give him something to think over again. For the first one in my whole life that I... I felt like this about. I guess we're a lot alike. Deep down, you and me. You mean that? Don't tell bad I'm in. And then come right back here. I got a thousand things to tell you before I wet my whistle. Telegram with the numbers just came from the east. I'm going to be in Madison Friday night. If Patrick wants to come along, it's all right with me.
Give me that. Sit down. Good likeness, don't you think? Why, you dirty little... Joe! Joe! Joe, we've got to hurt. Joe! It's all right, Lil. Sure, it's all right. I love Joe, do you understand? I love him. I see, I got eyes. I never loved you, you know that. Sure, I know it. You were right to choose the man you want. And I, like a sucker, thought it was me. Well, and so long as it ain't, forget it. You don't have to run out on account of me. Do you mean that, Jock? Why not? Sure I do. It's a free country, ain't it? Besides, you're not the only pebble on the beach. Patrick, I'll see you at the station. He's lying, Joe. That wasn't him speaking. He wouldn't let me go like this. No, he won't do anything. You don't know him the way I do. We've got to leave right away. I'm sorry, Lil. But I'm going to Baltimore. Oh, no, Joe, you can't. You promised me. Now, you wouldn't want me to run away, would you? But you've got to come with me. Something will happen. I know it. I feel it. This is my affair, Lil. you got to let me handle it my own way. He'll kill you, Joe. No, I won't. I'll take care of that. Now, you better run along. I got a pack. I'll say goodbye at the depot. You bought through in there in a minute. I'll take this one out. Clean in there. Well, look at that box on top there. I'm going to shoot it out. Justice. 
which is to hang by the neck until you are dead. sent me to find out who was robbing those banks. I find it so bad to find those banknotes on me. I stays the jewelry hold up just to get in good with him. Pretending you love me. That's not true. I do love you. At first, maybe I tried not to, but I do. You lied once. How do I know you aren't still lying? Darling, you've got to believe me. You used me to get Bat and Jock. No, it wasn't Bat and Jock so much. It was the man behind them. Well, don't you know who he is yet? Yes, I know. What are you doing here? Why don't your friends get you out? Nobody knew about this but me and President McKinley. Well, maybe there is some justice after all. If I could get word to Admiral Dewey, he might help. The warden won't let me get in touch with him. He thinks I'm crazy. Says my story's just a, just a trick to get a reprieve. What do you want to tell Admiral Dewey? the whole story. And I can prove it, too, by the message I sent the president that he was shot. See this? That's it. That mark in the lower right-hand corner of the envelope. And you think I might help you? You still think you can use me again? 